Hello there, what is love avoidance and why, no matter how nice you are, how good you are, you still attract aloof yet attractive strangers into your life. In this session, we are going to resolve your avoidant behavior so that love can prosper in your life. First, we need to understand what love avoidance is. What it is, it is the avoidance of emotional connection and emotional intimacy due to past hurt. It means it's hard for some people to then let love in for fear of it being too painful. I'm going to be explaining that with my very elaborate drawings I've done here for you. This is the extent of my artistic capabilities. Uh, as to how that operates. Avoidant characters show up as sometimes, and they can show up in different forms, but obviously this is a format that you'd understand. Avoidant characters show up as the aloof yet attractive stranger, the sultry, unobtainable figure. So where does the hurt in an avoidant character come from? Where does it show up? Where does it come from? For some of those really avoidant characters, <clears throat> the hurt comes from childhood. For others, it's the hurt from past relationships. It's an aspect that they haven't been able to let go of and they're carrying into their dynamics moving forward. So for example, maybe when you were a child, uh, just using this as an example, your father wasn't involved much. Maybe he sat with a newspaper glued to his face. Or he wasn't very emotionally available. Perhaps his avoidance came from his parents who couldn't be very emotionally involved. They may have suffered loss. It suffered extreme loss perhaps in their life or poverty or war for instance or maybe it was your mother perhaps she found affection difficult to give or accept and it was the case for the same or similar reasons so what's the issue when it comes to avoidance well the issue is this the issue is self-abandonment. When you've been on the receiving end of avoidant behavior, what you'll do is you will self-abandon. You'll ignore or invalidate your own needs, the things that you actually need. So we're looking at two types of self-abandonment. So type one is ignoring your own feelings by pulling on others for attention and approval. So this is my avoidant figure who does that. You know people who do this, okay? They don't ever ask what you need or what you want. They're extremely good at making demands. And if you don't follow them, they'll punish you with either the withdrawal of affection, the silent treatment, or perhaps a lack of communication. And this leaves you feeling anxious and worried about what it is that you've done. This is my figure that gives that kind of indication, which is type two. The type two version of self-abandonment is most likely what you are as an intuitive sensitive. You're the caretaker. You tend to others their needs before your own. You make sure everyone else is fine, happy and trotting along. Those who are selfish love that, absolutely love that. They get to make endless demands whilst you feel worthless and unlovable because you're waiting, waiting for the time they notice what you need, even longing for that time of noticing what you need. 
the other the other person becomes even more avoidant they push people away and you find yourself becoming more anxious and worried that you're not enough you think oh gosh what was it what do i have to do here what do i have to do eventually you withdraw and you give up and you think do you know what maybe the only thing i can trust is or maybe i can't trust anything but maybe there's one thing i can trust maybe that will just be animals you'll feel you can't trust anything anymore and you'll give off therefore if you can't trust you give off the feeling that you're a challenge mm. to a very avoidant character a really avoidant character this is music to their ears they can switch on the charm show a lot of initial attention which satisfies this thought process that or it, it settles the longing feeling going on inside and switch on the charm show a lot of initial attention then you wonder what the hell happened when they disappear on you this pattern is not what you want okay it's not what you want and not what you went into the world to create okay it's not what you chose in your life and thought yeah do you know what i'm going to find this pattern delightful it's not what you want and it's not what you wanted ever wanted to create you're meant to be part of connected relationships okay that's what you you're meant to be part of these scenarios of connection and connected relationships so how do you step beyond avoidant people so you're not attracted to them and you're not attractive to them how do you get to the place where you can accept the love that you need you allow yourself to move into self love and that may sound oh yes well that sounds fine and dandy honey how the hell do i do that it is about what it's actually about so oh we could do i do you know stand in front of the mirror and say oh i love you i love you and you think turn your head and go Bleh. no that's not what i'm talking about self love is about becoming a learnt secure okay what a learnt secure means is when you learn to allow yourself to become that a learnt secure it means it simply means you start to take responsibility for your feelings okay when you're in this kind of dynamic let's say we, with an extreme avoidant what you're doing is projecting the hope and the desire of those feelings so this hope the potential and throwing it all at this person all at once the potential okay you think what they could possibly be when you are learnt secure you take responsibility for those feelings and when you do this you stop feeling attracted to avoidant characters because you can then when you stop projecting these emotions onto them the hope and the and the desire that there's going to be some kind of feedback where somebody else is going to make you feel okay you can immediately feel when not doing that you're taking responsibility for your own feelings you can immediately feel that avoidant person's inner emptiness and their own neediness and you find yourself then in the position where you then no longer want to look after it you no want you no longer want to feed 
their avoidant patterns or fall for the potential the potential oh i see this they they've got so much potential if they could just be this 90 percent of the time instead of 10 percent of the time well everybody's got potential everybody could doesn't mean to say they will people have to choose whether they step into their potential or not you can't force them you can't make them you can't hold out for it but that's what you do when you're attracted to avoiding characters through self-abandonment and then if you become a learned secure you stop falling for that potential and you stop staying around for that that what they could be rather than who they are once you release your component your component of projecting longing onto them it gives others the opportunity to adjust because at some point or another it may well be actually that that avoidant character does want to change does want to change to adjust but they can't possibly if they can't if they didn't have the opportunity to feel their own stuff well if you're not throwing it at them wanting to take care of it wanting to make it go away all of that kind of stuff maybe they are just enough to see what they need to do in order to come more towards you and if they do you're just not so impacted so how do you do that how do you make that happen it's all well and good but oh, you know but i'm used to being the caretaker i'm used to it. i don't understand who i am without that i don't know who i what my role in life is how do what do i become without that so how do you solve it well that's what this session's meditation is for okay this session's meditation is releasing avoidant characters from your heart chakra why would it be from your heart chakra well if you think about it love is very much a heart thing the emotions of love if you really feel it it's your heart center okay okay your actual heart is to your left but you feel it in your chest if you think about it that's where you feel it so in addressing that from its energy standpoint it makes it much easier much easier for you to be able to view your own feelings your own feelings before you start seeing you being reflected in the behavior of somebody else you taking the idea of who you are from somebody else's behavior you just take it actually from yourself life is so much easier then so much easier so much easier you don't make logical decisions to be around avoidance okay you make the decisions based on unconscious beliefs that are often stored in the body as jung said until you make the unconscious conscious it will direct your life and you will call it fate what does that mean it means it direct your life if you keep going into situations where you feel utterly rejected or not included or you worry about it or you think something nice comes along and you think wow can i trust this or do i have to sabotage it or test it you don't want to be able to keep that you don't want to be doing that well, that's what that quote means so you make the unconscious conscious and this meditation 
will help you undo those unconscious beliefs beliefs by releasing the energy stored in the heart chakra your emotional energy point especially when it comes to love even if you've never done a meditation before it's fine you just follow the words okay you have time you can do it now there is always time for something this important because when you address something from a deeper inner level it can change what's been bugging you for years months weeks it can change it to the point it disappears like that but what happens once the energy of avoidance char avoidant characters is dissolved where it impacts you left where you stop projecting your emotions onto them it leaves an imprint the memory of and the belief you should have done things differently almost like a, an anger with yourself for wasting time when you refer back to what has been in the past rather than the present it creates an inner pressure ask yourself can you feel it there is an in creates an inner pressure and there's no need to worry because we will be resolving that inner pressure in the next session next session is what's doing your head in releasing your inner pressure for good so make sure you set a reminder now to join me for the next session and share this episode if you know someone who keeps attracting aloof character types maybe someone who you spend your life listening to who keeps going round and round and round in the same story pattern in their minds and you think oh they need to be able to get out of this send them this video get them to do the meditation it will help some people though they like to keep the wound and i'm not saying that you should pass this on to people who like to keep this wound because they'll say oh, i don't want to do that yeah, that's rubbish because they like to they like to nurse the wound sometimes that's fine but if you know someone who's genuinely had enough of that and they say oh, gosh i just want to get on with this pass it on okay so go now and download the free meditation releasing avoidant characters from your heart chakra by visiting HeidiSawyer.com forward slash one that's as in not the word the number one okay or all you have to do is click on the link below do it now because then you're not allowing the limitation of kind of like a perfection to get in your way so you're thinking oh I haven't got time I need to have the perfect time it needs to be perfectly quiet it needs to be perfectly this perfectly that thing in it because then you'll just forget even if you just do it the once do this meditation the once it could open up something profound for you you don't know you don't know until you give it a go we believe your capacity for empathy gives you a unique perspective. The way we help you access your uniqueness is through developing your intuition, your inner world. When you allow yourself this part of you, life is easy. So go now and listen to the powerful meditation. And always remember, your sensitivity is your greatest asset. Until next time. Bye for now.